Hello everyone. Welcome to Worthington Library's online story times. I'm Miss Jenny and I'm from Northwest Library and I'm here today to bring you a story time. Today's story time theme is about, well let me see, let me give you some hints and see if you can guess. Some people call them thunder lizards. Any ideas? Some of them have spikes on their backs. Any ideas? Some of them have really big claws and go roar. Well, if you guessed dinosaurs, you would be right. We're going to read stories, sing songs, and do rhymes today about dinosaurs. But first, let's start off with our first song, which is The More We Get Together. So do you guys remember the sign language for it? Let's go over it real quick, just to review it. Okay, this means more. This together, stirring a pot means together. This means happy. This means your. Fingers together means friends. And this means my. This is the tricky part. Your friends are my friends. And if you can't do that part, don't worry about it. And for those of you out there that have babies, remember, we want them to be a part of this story time too. So with them, as we sing this, and you sing this with your children and your babies, please have your babies clap their hands. Help them to clap their hands together because that's the baby's first finger play and kind of their first sign language as well. So here we go. Are you, is everybody ready? Okay, let's go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Oh, thanks for helping me sing that today. I have a frog in my throat today. I think it was just too much outside walking around yesterday because it was such a pretty day. Well, our first story is Groovy Joe, Ice Cream and Dinosaurs by Eric Lippman and the art is by Tom Lichtenheld. And I wanna thank Scholastic Book Publishing for allowing me to bring this book to you today. So let's get started. Oh, by the way, I need some help with this book. Kind of always need help when I'm reading a story to you guys. But in this story, we're gonna to get to the part where it says, there's a song that goes, love my doggy ice cream. So here's what I want you to do. When we get to that part, I want you boys and girls to stand up and I want you to do this. Love my doggy ice cream, love my doggy ice cream. Can you do that with me? Well, you might have to do that whole part. I'll sing it with you, but you might have to do all the dancing part because it's hard for me to dance and hold my book. Okay, you ready to go? All right, here we go. Groovy Joe ice cream and dinosaurs. Groovy Joe saw something yummy. What is that? You see? It's an ice cream truck, isn't it? Groovy Joe started rubbing his tummy. Mmm. Do you guys like ice cream? I do too. Groovy Joe was living his dream. He had a spoon and a tub of ice cream. And he started to sing. Okay, here's where I need your help. Love my doggy ice cream. Love my doggy ice cream. Oh, look at him dancing. Were you dancing with Groovy Joe? I hope so. <gasps> Roar! Can you say that? Roar! One more time, I didn't hear you. Roar! <gasps> Much better. Oh no, a little dinosaur stomped into the room. He glared at the ice cream and he took out a... What do you think he took out? You're right, a spoon. Look at his smile. He put on a bib, he pulled up a chair, and what do you think 
What did Joe say? It's awesome to share. And everyone sing. Here we go. Up and dancing again. Love my doggy ice cream. Love my doggy ice cream. Oh, here we go again. Can you help me say this? Roar! Oh, no. A big dinosaur burst into the room. He glared at the ice cream and he took out a... I think he took out... You're right. A spoon. Look at his smile. Oh, he put on a bib. He pulled up a chair. And what did Joe say? Oh, it's awesome to share. And everyone sang. Here we go. Up and at him again. Here we go. Love my doggy ice cream. Love my doggy ice cream. Until... Roar! Oh, no. A huge dinosaur smashed in the room. He glared at the ice cream and he took out a... What did he take out? A spoon! She put on a bib. She pulled up a chair. And what did Joe say? It's awesome to share! And everyone sang. Here we go again. Love my doggy ice cream. Love my doggy ice cream. Roar! Oh no, the tub was empty. The ice cream was through. So the dinosaurs glared at you. No, who? Oh no, what can Joe do? Look at them looking at poor Joe. What should he do? Do you have any ideas? Go buy more ice cream? You think he has time for that? I'll show you what Joe did. He turned the tub over and he made a drum. And Groovy Joe beat out rum tum a tum tum. Oh, now they have music. The dinosaurs laughed. They rose from their chairs. They started to dance. They jumped in the air. Then what did they say? Awesome to share. And everyone sang together. Ready? Love my doggy ice cream. Love my doggy ice cream. Oh. I love that story. Those dinosaurs scare you at first, didn't they? When they all peered at Joe. What do you think they he was thinking? Do you think he was scared? I think I would. Well, you know, after all that ice cream and all that dancing, I have some dinosaurs with me, but they they might be a little sleepy. So I'm going to teach you a little song to sing with them. But first, let's see how many dinosaurs I have. Can you help me count? Here we go. There's one. Here's two. We should be two. Here's three. Can you show me three fingers? Here's four. Can you show me four fingers? And how many is this? Let me put one more up here. How many now? Five. These dinosaurs are sleeping. Five yawning dinosaurs. Okay, we're gonna say this rhyme first and then we're gonna sing it to row, row, row your boat. So the first verse we'll say, then the next one we'll sing it to row, row, row your boat. Do you remember that tune? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Okay, you got it? Okay. We're gonna say the first line, the first verse and then we'll sing it. Five yawning dinosaurs nod their sleepy head. One picks up their teddy bear and shuffles off to bed. Now how many dinosaurs do we have? Four. 
Okay, let's sing it to row, row, row your boat. Because you know what, boys and girls? When you sing, each word has its own different tone. So we can hear the different sounds in words. And also, sometimes it's easier to learn a rhyme when we sing, make a tune to it. So let's try it, okay? Okay. Five yawning dinosaurs. Oh, how many do we have? Miss Jenny didn't count very well. Will you count with me? One, two, three, four. Okay, here we go. Four yawning dinosaurs nod their sleepy heads. One picks up his teddy bear and goes off to bed. Actually, I think they shuffle when you're tired, don't they? Now, how many do we have? Three. Three yawning dinosaurs nod their sleepy heads. One picks up her teddy bear and shuffles off to bed. Okay, and I took one away. Now how many do you see? Two. Two yawning dinosaurs nod their sleepy heads. One picks up their teddy bear and shuffles off to bed. How many are left? Just one, right? One yawning dinosaur nods her sleepy head. She picks up her teddy bear and shuffles off to bed. Good job. You know, one thing we didn't do for the babies, which is good, you know, we all, the first step of learning to read are knowing your colors, knowing your shapes, so let's go over colors quick. What color is this? Purple. What color is this? Green. What color is this? Orange. What color is this? Red. And what color is this dinosaur? Pink. Very good. Okay, I have another story. And this story is called Know what that word is? Roar! It's a different way to spell roar, isn't it? R-A-W-R. -R. In Groovy Joe, they spelled it R-O-A-R. -R. Well, this book is by Todd H. Doodler. And also, we want to thank Scholastic Book for bringing this book to us today as well. So let's go ahead and read Roar. Can you say that word? Roar. Being a dinosaur is hard. Why do you think it's hard to be a dinosaur? Any ideas? Let's read and find out. I'm bigger than every kid in my class. Oh, and I'm bigger than my teachers too. Look at that. He's huge, isn't he? He's humongous. He's ginormous. I am bigger than the school bus. Look at his head. It's poked outside the school bus, hasn't it? Oh, and I'm not very good at hide and seek. What's he hiding behind? Why is he not very good? That's right, he's so big. They can see him no matter where he is. Because I am big, some people think I'm scary. But they are wrong. Now, why would you think he's scary? His teeth? Those teeth scare you? I am careful. Look at him peeking at the fish. Oh, but look at the fish. They look a little scared, don't they? And I am helpful. What's he doing? He's being a crossing guard, isn't he? He's helping the children cross the street. I have good table manners. Oh, look at that. What's he doing? He's cleaning up the table, isn't he? Look at the children. Look at their faces. Oops. I even say, excuse me. I guess that's what happens when dinosaurs eat a lot. They burp. And my smile is really something. Look at the class picture. Everybody's smiling. Look at his smile. 
He sure knew how to say cheese for the picture and smile, didn't he? So what are people afraid of? Roar! Oh, lady in the grocery store kind of drops her groceries. The mailman, roar! Oh, look at this little boy. He's playing baseball. What's this word? Roar! Oh, look at what's happening with the dog. He has a dog's bone. What does he say? Roar! Oh, look at the school bus driver. He peeps his head over and what does he say? Roar! And look at, here's the mom with the baby. And he's only trying to bring back the blanket. And he goes, roar! Oh, here's a little secret he wants you to know. Roar! Means hello in dinosaur. So please tell your friends. So all those people he's saying roar to, what was he saying? Hello in dinosaur language, wasn't he? Yeah, that's all he was saying. Being big can be a good thing. I'm very good at sports. And I can find things when they are lost. Oh, look at, wouldn't that be nice? Soccer ball's up there and he got it. And some things I can hide too. Uh-oh, look what happened to the slide. He went down the slide, didn't he? And what did he do? Kind of crumpled it, didn't he? He's hiding it. I didn't do that. He's hiding it. And I can be a lot of fun at recess. Okay, I might have broken the slide, but now I can be the slide. Huh. He's a fun dinosaur. So if you meet a dinosaur, do not be scared. And remember, look at, he's giving him high five. What's this word again? Roar! Means hello in dinosaur. Do you think those children are afraid? Look at him smiling. I think they're waving back to him. Aww. Bye, dinosaur. Well, boys and girls, I have one more song I want to do with you. And it's to the tune, Have You Ever Seen a Lassie? Do you know that tune? Have you ever seen a lassie, a lassie, a lassie? But let's change it to, have you ever seen a dinosaur? What did dinosaurs like to do? Munch, eat lunch, chomp. So let's go. Have you ever seen a dino, a dino, a dino? Have you ever seen a dino munch his lunch? He munches, he crunches, he munches, he crunches. Have you ever seen a dino munch his lunch? What else do dinosaurs do? Roar, they do roar, you're right. So instead, have you ever seen a dinosaur roar? What we do? Have you ever heard? So can you put your hand up to your ear? Okay. Have you ever heard a dino, a dino, a dino? Have you ever heard a dino go roar? Roars here and there and here and there. Have you ever heard a dino go roar? Good job. What else might a dino do? They have really big feet. Do they stomp their feet? Can you get up and stomp your feet like a dinosaur? Oh, good. If I got up and did mine, you couldn't see me. So let's go. Have you ever seen a dino? A dino, a dino. Have you ever seen a dino? Stomp around. Stomp here and there and here and there. Have you ever seen a dino? Stomping around. Good job. What else do dinos do? What did dinos have their long at the end of their bodies? Swishes. Tails, that's right. Have you ever seen a dino? A dino, a dino. Have you ever seen a dino swoosh his tail? Swishes this way and that way and this way and that way. Have you ever seen a dino 
Swish his big tail. Good job. Hey guys, maybe today at home you can think of different things dinosaurs do. Or, you know what, if there's other, there's so many different kinds of dinosaurs, there's big dinosaurs, did you also know there's little dinosaurs? Maybe today you can have mom or dad or your caregiver look on our library website and see if you can find a dinosaur book about different kinds of dinosaurs. And then maybe they can reserve it and check it out and you can read about different kinds of dinosaurs. Or you can always get different dinosaur storybooks to read about dinosaurs too for fun. But right now it's time to say goodbye, guys. I've had so much fun with you today. But let's reach really, 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 really high and tickle the clouds. Tickle, 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 tickle. Let's reach down really, really low and tickle our toes. Can you turn around? Can you tickle your nose? Tickle, 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 tickle. Can you reach back down really, really low? Can you reach up really, really high on your tiptoes? Story time's over. Goodbye. Boys and girls, until I see you next time, have a great day and watch out next week. Miss Lisa will be by to do another story time with you.